Hey guys, Malik and I bring this video to you today from our hillside. Yes, I'm trying to shoot a video and he decides to crawl up in my lap in the middle of the forest and start kneading me. Typical day in the life on our homestead. Anyways, I woke up this morning and I thought to myself, you know what? I want to mulch the garden today. Actually, I went to bed last night thinking that I wanted to mulch the garden today. So I decided to get on the internet and get on YouTube and watch a few videos about mulching and what to do and what not to do. And I'm one of those people that suffers hardcore from analysis paralysis. And that's really easy to, that's a really common thing to suffer from on this type of journey because it's somewhat unknown and there's a lot of information out there, especially on the internet, of what to do, what not to do. And ultimately, you just get really overwhelmed if you're anything like me and you do nothing which is not great if you want to make progress. When it comes to mulching, everyone has ideas about what you should do. There's a really big fascination with wood chips right now, but in the end, I don't know that there's one solution for every single property in the world because we all have different materials available to us and people all over the world have always had successful gardens. So while I probably do have access to wood chips if I look hard enough, maybe from a tree company or something like that, we also have a whole bunch of mulch on our property already, specifically in the form of pine needles. And very quickly, people were shooting that idea down, telling me not to use them because of their acidity. And I decided to research this and with my brief information, I'm not an expert, I found that while pine needles are acidic, they actually don't have an acidic effect on the soil when they decompose, therefore they should be more than okay to use as a mulch in your garden. And when I think about your body and the foods that you eat, sometimes we eat acidic foods, but they actually have an alkalizing effect on your body, such as lemons. So in the end, I came to the conclusion that I don't have time for all this research. I can waste my entire life trying to do it all right and never make a mistake, but I don't think that's gonna help us to accomplish our goals. So one thing Jesse and I really want to embrace and share on this journey is that we're not afraid of failure. If we put pine needles or leaves or hay or straw or any of that, those other things on our garden and we don't have a successful crop, that's okay and failure should be embraced. In the end, all you could do is a little bit of research and get started on your project and then adjust things as necessary. One thing I do wanna share is that Jesse and I have experience with a community garden plot uh, a few years ago and when we got the plot everyone said that the soil quality was really poor and we needed to add compost and fertilizers and manure and all this stuff and Jesse said I have a crazy idea let's just stick, stick a bunch of seeds into the ground and see what happens and much to our surprise 50% of our garden did really really well with very minimal maintenance watering it once or twice a day and that was a huge shocker to us so rather than spending all this time trying to get the perfect mulch for our property when it might not even be readily available available to us, I'm gonna go around our property today and collect a bunch of pine needles, throw it on the garden, and see what happens. And I want to invite you all along for the ride. I'm not sure what Malik thinks of that though, because I'm gonna have to kick him out of my lap. I can do anything, I can reach any goal today, I can do what I want. I can be what I want to be Woo! That was actually a lot more work than it looks. I hiked up and down our hill about 20 times, so needless to say, I got my workout in today. As you can see, we've completely finished mulching the garden. And again, is this the perfect solution? I don't know, but it's a very ideal solution. So again, really the point of this video that I'm trying to make is try to do the best with what you have. And instead of focusing on what you do not have, focus on what you do have. And I think this is something that a lot of us can forget at times, but on our land, we're fortunate to have so much. So even if we don't have everything, we do have a lot. And we could accomplish a lot of our goals simply by looking around to see uh, what materials are available to us. So now that I've hiked up and down the hill about 20 times, I'm gonna sit back, enjoy the garden, and enjoy a not your father's root beer. This is a hard root beer and if you've not yet tried it and you like root beer you should i snuck a six pack of these into the trailer when jesse wasn't watching Shh. if you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the development of our off-grid homestead we have a lot of exciting projects coming up including the construction of our timber frame barn which rumor has it we might be starting pretty soon building our organic garden finishing our hot tub our wood-fired hot tub and also the deck 
and even a rain catchment system, among many other projects. We'd love to have you along for the ride. Feel free to check out our blog. It's peerlivingforlife.com. We also post a lot on Facebook and Instagram, and things on those channels don't always make it to YouTube. So if you really want to follow our journey real time, then check us out on those channels. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.